my little engine. She's gonna start getting annoyed with me. Well, folks, good evening. It's a uh, Saturday, and uh, we continue to look at the uh, tropical storm Lee. It appears to have been uh, stalled right along the coast of Louisiana at the moment, and uh, we actually have um, some good news. Uh, it looks as if the system uh, is entraining so so much dry air into the core from the west and northwest and even the south that uh, you can see on uh, radar the, the decay of the system, all the, the, the convection, the deep convection, the strongest winds and the, the worst weather is actually off to the south and east and north and uh, we continue to see that but there has been clearing, there's been some sunshine uh, over places like New Orleans today so that is good news, we're seeing that the bad news, folks, is the fact that the system is not moving at all. It's actually stationary, and I believe it's just the center of the system is just off the coast of Louisiana, around Marsh Island, or, or uh, thereabouts anyway. And the problem is, for the next few days, we can continue to see this very, very slow progression. It might actually still be sitting over southern Louisiana. It might come ashore maybe tonight, maybe even tomorrow morning. But what we're finding is that we continue to see a 60 mile an hour storm. The pressure has dropped from earlier from 90, 995 millibars down to about 991. Uh, so that does uh, um, bear watching. It's interesting to see that. But the system probably uh, will not strengthen much more because the problem is for the system, uh, it's literally sitting right on shore. So it's not going to go anywhere unless the system pushes back out into the Gulf of Mexico, this system is not going to strengthen more. However, the slow movement, the continued flow, the very, very warm, moist uh, environment, and that is, of course, coming ashore, and it's going to continue to rain heavily for anywhere from the western uh, panhandle of Florida all the way across the central Louisiana. We we'll continue to see that for the next few days. So uh, a couple of thoughts, of course, uh, before I close off for the night. Uh, it's brief tonight, um, but there's not an awful lot of news to say, folks, other than that there's, we're seeing sales come ashore across Louisiana uh, through Mississippi, Alabama, and uh, western Florida. As for Katia, it continues to see some dry air, or sorry, shear, and uh, what we're finding is uh, the, the maximum sustained winds continue at 75 miles an hour, so barely a hurricane maybe even uh, perhaps uh, going to be downgraded to a tropical storm. However, the models continue to suggest that the shear uh, eases off in the coming days and we're going to see the system become a bit stronger. Uh, and the past, uh, certainly the past 24 to nearly 42, 48 hours, we've seen the continuation of this uh, shear and that has really been uh, keeping a lid on the strengthening of Katia. The problem is, folks, the models continue to trend at westward, and uh, it looks as if it's going to uh, track between Bermuda, uh, Bermuda and the Bahamas, and uh, make that turn, perhaps, off the east coast. But we really, really can't say for sure yet whether the east coast will be spurred uh, Katia's uh, influence. Uh, we'll just have to continue watching it. But thanks for watching. Hope you have a great weekend, folks, and uh, if you live in Louisiana, across the south, uh, please do take care. We've got extra inches of rainfall expecting the, the coming 24 hours. So uh, look after yourselves and stay safe. Bye for now.